Hi, so depressingly enough, more often than not, when you put something together and flip that on button, it doesn't work, which is just depressing beyond belief. But more often than not, the problem is just with your connections. Now, people say this and people don't do it. Check your connections and check them again. Make sure all your connections are good. Now, the problem with plug and play is that plug and play is made by people. It's made by people who don't get paid very much. They have thousands to do in a day and late on Friday night at the end of the week when they're tired, they'll plug something in wrong. And when you get it, it doesn't work. Now it's very often cheaper just to replace a part than it is to run a QC system. So quality control can be a little lax too. However, all that takes time. Now, I've used an awful lot of these connectors and because they look like you should just be able to plug and play, you kind of have faith in them, don't you? Every now and then you come across an issue and I did rigging up the electric trike and that issue was it didn't work because some Friday person had put the wires in the wrong way round. They'd just slipped in and swapped over the sense wire with the neutral wire. When you've got a situation like that, of course, You've got two choices. One is cut the whole thing off and resolder it all together. And the other is remove these pins. Now, removing these pins isn't actually that difficult. Let me give you a close-up of what one of these pins looks like. So here's one of the pins there. Now, you can see it's got a tiny little bit of metal right there. What they do when they make these is they punch that out of the other side and it creates a spring. So when they slide them into the plastic container, that spring springs out and stops it coming back. If you want to remove one of those, what you've got to do is press that spring down. Now, pressing that spring down is pretty easy, actually. One of the easiest ways to get yourself some needle nose pliers, if you don't have those, you can stick a nail in there and just twist it until that spring is pressed down, then the whole thing will just pull out. And there's another example of one that's really quite small, and you can see the spring there. Now, in order to get these out, so there's a one there, I'm going to use needle nose pliers. You grab hold of it, pull it up a little bit, squeeze in the center and push back down. You just want to get that spring loose. Once that spring's loose, there we go. The whole thing will pull out. When we've got it pulled out and the spring is in the good condition which it is if you just press it then you can put it in the right place where it belongs you push it back in the spring will snap out and you will have wired one of those correctly so i've used nails pins and pliers to do that job it's a little fiddly but it's no more fiddly than cutting the whole lot off and re-soldering it and of course you get the case really nice as well and I, the whole thing goes back together very well as I thought it was worth a tip about that spring because not a lot of people know about it and it's a great way of rewiring it for that inevitable Friday connector that you're going to get. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe.